Hello, good morning. Okay, so today we are going to start reading one poem, a very short poem, and I'm not going to explain this poem, okay? Since it's a very short poem, what we are going to do is, I'm just going to give you a few assignments, okay? The first one is, I'm going to read this poem, I mean, I'm going to recite this poem, and you are going to recite this, not once, not twice, but many times, okay? And when you are familiar with your uh, recitation, what I want you to do is I want you to record, just like you did in the story section. Do you remember? I told you to record your reading, isn't it? Now this time I want you to record this recitation, poetry recitation, okay? You can take your time, you just keep reading, be familiar with some of the words here, how to pronounce, okay? And when you are familiar with this, when you are comfortable, I just want you to recite this and record this and send it to me. Is that okay? Yes. Okay. So I'm going to give you one reading, okay? Wind by Supramania Bharati. Wind comes softly. Don't break the shutters of the windows. Don't scatter the papers. Don't throw down the books on the shelf. There, look what you did. You threw them all down. You tore the pages of the books. You brought rain again. You are very clever at poking fun at weaklings. Frail crumbling houses, crumbling doors, crumbling rafters, Crumbling wood, crumbling bodies, crumbling lives, crumbling hearts. The wind god winnows and crushes them all. He won't do what you tell him. So come, let's build strong homes. Let's join the doors firmly. Practice to firm the body. Make the heart steadfast. Do this and the wind will be friends with us. The wind blows out weak fires. He makes strong fires roar and flourish. His friendship is good. We praise him every day. Okay. So, I want you to go through this poem. You are going to recite and you are going to send the recording to me. Is that okay? Yes. Okay, now students, your second exercise is to find meaning for some of the words here, okay? Yes, you just go through this poem and try to get the meaning of these words, okay? The first one is scatter, okay? Yes, what is the meaning of the scatter? You have to find out, okay? And when you get the meaning of the word scatter, you write one, uh, what you say, sentence, okay? Yes, so that is the thing. And the second one is poking fun, okay? This is the second word. What is the meaning of poking fun? And the third one is crumbling, okay? You see there are so many words. Crumbling houses, crumbling doors, crumbling rafters, crumbling wood, crumbling bodies, crumbling lives, crumbling hearts, okay? Yes, so you have to find the meaning of these words. <coughs> And the next word is steadfast. Okay, what is the meaning of the word steadfast? Because these words are very much familiar to you. Okay, it will be useful in your own writing. So steadfast, you have to write one sentence uh, where you use this word. Okay, yes. And uh, the last one is flourish. Okay, yes. What is the meaning of this word flourish? And after getting the meaning of this word, you have to write the uh, sentence. Did you understand? Okay, yes. So, uh, I gave you how many words? First one is scattered. Second one is poking fun. Third one is crumbling. Fourth one is steadfast. And the last one is flourish. Okay, you have to find the meaning of these words. 
and you have to make one sentence. Okay, yes. So that is the thing. And uh, the second one, okay, yes. I want you to uh, divide the poem, okay? Yes, divide the poem. How do we divide? We are going to divide this poem like this. Okay, yes. So this is the first one and this is the second part. Okay, yes. So in the first part, you have to uh, write all the things the wind do. Okay, what are some of the things the wind do? And you see there are so many distractions. Okay, yes. Now in the second part, what you are going to do, you are going to do write how are we going to make friends with the wind. You got it? Okay, yes make friends how are we going to make friends with the wind okay and you're going to find out how are we going to you may write one or two points like this so did you understand the first exercise is you have to find the meaning of these words the second one in the first part what are all the things the wind does okay and in the second one you have to write how we can make friends with the wind. Did you understand? Okay, yes. Now, this poem, it actually talks about wind. Okay, yes. So, sometimes we know uh, in getting the meaning of the words, there are two words. Okay, there are two meanings. One is the main meaning, the literal meaning, and the other one is the hidden meaning. Okay, yes. Now, if you... Uh, in the first instant, you will know that this poem is simply about the wind, okay? But if we go deeper, if you try to get the meaning of this poem, you will know that the wind symbolizes. The wind has got a different, uh, what should I say, meaning. Here, the wind refers to all the obstacles, all the problems uh, we have in our life, okay? And... We have got two kinds of people, the people who are very strong and people who are very weak. Now, if you are the weak people, whenever you face problem, you get so many distractions in your life. Okay, because you are not strong physically and mentally. So that's why the wind will destroy you. Okay, whenever you come across any problem, you will just break down instead of facing the problem instead of finding solution you easily break down okay yes this is the first part and if you look at the second part okay yes if you try to be strong if you are strong physically and mentally even if you face problem you will easily tackle okay yes the wind will be there okay sometimes the wind will be uh, destructive sometimes wind won't do anything Okay, likewise, the problems and obstacles in our life are everywhere. Okay, if you are weak and uh, what you say, uh, uh, physically weak and mentally weak, if you are not strong, then uh, the problem will uh, break you down. Whereas, if you are physically and mentally strong, okay, even if you face problem, you will not be uh, crushed down. Okay. There won't be any disturbance. In fact, you will make the best out of this situation. So that is the other meaning of this poem. Did you understand? Okay, yes. So in this session, I gave you first one. You have to read the poem many times and you have to record. Second one, you have to go through these words which are underlined. You have to find the meaning and you have to make one sentence. And the third one, uh, you see the poem is divided into two parts. In the first part, you have to tell me all the things the wind does. And in the second one, how can we make friends with the wind? I told the wind also symbolizes the problems and obstacles in our life. Okay, yes. So with this, I'm going to stop here. Please.